Alright, JL, so the, the story of this morning I woke up to, to close it out, um, this whole Dolan thing, uh, Ian O'Connor, ESPN, sat with Dolan and did a crazy, you know, lengthy, lengthy tell-all article, um, they touched on uh, the Phil situation, they touched on Nuka Brown Sanders, they touched on um, the rift between him and, and some of the comments that were made by Maggie Gray, uh, WFAN, on the whole um, Harvey Weinstein thing and the Me Too movement. Um, and then they, they talked about selling the Knicks, man. And, and Bo, Dolan said uh, he wouldn't rule it out, but but it would have to be a bona fide offer. But he's willing to do whatever's necessary to keep the team running. JLs, what's your take on this? He ain't signed no damn team, dog. That is not <laughs> happening. We fell for this last year. Everybody got hyped. Because they talked about selling the team. Everybody trying to get them a little money together. Their mama trying to borrow money from their mama to buy it. No, he's not selling the team. He's yeah. not doing it. Like, it, when he says bona fide offer, he means bona fide offer. Bona fide. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds, it, it reminds me of when Tom Thibodeau was talking about how he was going to trade Jimmy Butler. And every time somebody made an offer, he upped the price. Yeah, he pulled, he pulled him back a little more. He's like, <laughs> exactly. uh-uh. uh-uh. Uh, 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 better than that. Yeah, better than that. That's that. That's what that reminds me of. Facts. Instead, you know, it's not like instead, you know, Jimmy Butler kind of forced his way out by acting a fool. Knicks yeah. can't force their way out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go to opposite jails. I, I think within the next ten years, the Knicks will be sold. That's my bold take. I think the Knicks will be sold, and within the next ten years, that's my take. Why do you say that? A um, couple reasons. Uh, number one, they're splitting off the Knicks and the Rangers. Um, mm-hmm. So you, you got to understand this. Be, before he's a basketball guy, James Dolan and their family, they, they, their whole thing is investments, man. They're a real estate family. You know what I'm saying? They're, real, they're, they're in the asset acquisition uh, 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 game. You know what I'm saying? Okay. In, in which the Knicks and the Rangers are just assets. And when this team starts to compete and turn the corner... That, that that value is going to go up already. The MSG stock today alone, off of that comment, went up at one point as high as 15 points in, in today alone. And over, yeah. I think over the course of the year, it's been doing very well, man. So um, he knows how to spin it. He knows how to spin it, man. The market reacts to news positively and negatively. He has to say that. He, uh, he, he answers to the sh- sh- stakeholders, the shareholders. So, so, you, so you afraid what you're saying is you feel like Knicks win a championship, he's gonna sell it. Definitely. Or or even before that. Even before that. I mean, whether they were what are they at right now? They're worth about three billion dollars, aren't they? Yeah. Mix like the playoffs, he's gonna sell it. I, I think I think within the next ten years he will sell that team. I think uh, he, I think he will sell that team. No we will see. no uh, franchise lasts forever in the in a in a family. Only some. Like, I will, you know, I will say I will say this. If that ever does happen, dope. I'll be happy for Charles Oakley to get back. From the <laughs> it's free Oak. The clouds open. Oak. Oak is the back. Opie. Right. O- o- First thing that has to be done if that ever happens is Oak yeah. get courtside seats. Bring back Oak. Make it <laughs> right. Make, Make it right with Oak, man. I wouldn't so, like, be surprised if even that happens on the Dolan's watch, man. I didn't think Sprewell would ever come back. Nah, man, Oak is t- Oak is still tight. Man. That was that was an incident. This, this, this that was different. an incident, man. This is different. This that is, was this, an incident, man. This is this is police. Oh, yo, Spree, Spreewell got he, yo. He got tight at Dolan, man. Remember when he came back with the Timberwolves? He had that dunk and then like he grabbed himself in front of Dolan, like yo, give me my money, type. Yeah, that's true. But this is a whole when the cops get involved. He gets yeah, yeah, down, that's like, another fiasco. That's, a, that's another level. That's another that's fiasco. Water. That's not that's not a sorry a sorry can't really fix that. Yeah. That's like yeah. That. And then everybody and their mom came out with the GoFundMe's today, man. Everybody and their mom. Man. Even Ocho Cinco got into the game, man. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. It was Where's funny. ours, man? Where's ours? Where's ours? I came out I came out with mine. I was like, yo, we need to get Jeff Bezos. Go oh yeah, let's do that. We get Nick's film school to start up the GoFundMe. We oh, yeah, let's we, do that. we notification spam Jeff Bezos. To put the money up and give us controlling interest of the operations. He could do anything else with the business. Anything That's with the team goes through us and the fans. Through the board oh of directors. Dog, can you imagine if every trade we had the fans had to vote on? Fans had to vote. Fan vote. <laughs> fan vote. 
That would be crazy. That's it. That's it. That man. would be crazy. Are we counting the Instagram and Twitter fans together? I'm telling you, man. I'm, yeah, I would. I wouldn't put it past it, man. When with Amazon opening up that office in, in Long Island City, man, this guy Bezos. Don't be surprised if he writes that check for the Knicks, man. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be called Madison Square Amazon, man. Oh hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Madison Square Amazon, oh, man. man. I, I'm oh, telling you, man. I'm telling you. I mean, the only thing I'd be happy about is if we get Nick's merch, we get it really fast. Facts. Yeah, <laughs> in, in two days. One or two days. One or exactly. two days, man. Two hours. Yeah. <laughs> one, one or two days, man. And then real quick on the Phil topic, he says, um, they asked him about the failure of Phil Jackson. He says, look, when I brought Phil in, the big question is, are you going to stay out of it? Remember, that's what we asked him, Jails. The one thing about Dolan... He do del- yo listen, we ask and he delivers. Am yeah. I right or not? That, you you are right, bro. We we wanted Larry Brown, he gave us Larry Brown, right? Yeah. yeah we yeah. wanted D'Antoni, he gave us D'Antoni. That's true. You know, we wanted Melo, he gave us Melo at the wrong time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? We yeah. we wanted Phil, uh, he gave us Phil, and we wanted him to get Phil out of here, and he got him out of here. So are the fans controlling I think oh, I, I think he listens to the fans more often than not and I'm not a Dolan hater I'll be honest with you I, I don't I don't think I think that the criticism of him has been overblown I'm not a Dolan hater you know what I am I don't like how he handled the open thing I don't like how he handled some of the players stuff mm-hmm. um, I think that's my my criticism of him as of lately, I don't have any criticism of him over the last couple of years. <laughs> like two years. Yeah. I don't like how he handled the Oak thing. I, was- I agree. I don't like how he handled the Oak thing. But I do like, you know, seeing, listen, they got John Stocks is back. I do like the I do like, I do, I do like the timing of the Spear World thing was a little crazy to me. Like it's, it, it seems. A little PR-ish because he knew the Oakley thing was happening. So you know, bring back the prodigal son. Yeah, I think I think you had mentioned that before. Yeah, yeah. I'm so glad people is back because that's my guy, and I still remember the Sprewell Houston Canby thing. Yeah, the poster that I was hanging in my old room. And right. So, so I mean, I listen, he, he's a loyal guy. The shooter saying I'm defending him. I'm just saying I think the hype is a little overblown. I think the hype is a little overblown. He's a business guy. He's a business yeah. guy. He hires the guys. He hires Steve Mills for basketball. He hires Glenn Sather for hockey. And he says, yeah. go do your thing. You, you I know will, what I'm saying? Yeah. I will say, yeah, I will say this. Over the last couple of years, I don't have any. Yeah, I, I, if I, I take out the Oakley yeah. thing, which is yeah. the big thing for me. Yeah. I don't have complaints of what he, like he's been staying out of the way and letting Mills do his thing. Fizz, Fizz got his hair. I, I like that. Yeah. So I, I will say that. Yeah. And, and he kept it a buck about the triangle. He said, obviously, it wasn't working. Obviously, Phil wanted to embed the triangle. And obviously, people wasn't caring for it. And it didn't yeah. work. And when he saw the writing on the wall, he understood it. Phil understood it. And they parted ways. Yeah, I liked how he intervened. Because he had my to. Version of, my version of the story was Phil was about, was about to uh, trade KP. And if that's the case, yeah, can, then get that, was ass a, out of there, man. that was exactly the. You step, I'm very glad he stepped in. Because yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, <laughs> if he let that happen. Facts. He answered. He, he answered to us. And SS Television says no one wanted Phil. Listen, man. I was here. I remember it vividly. I was happy about it. I thought we was gonna bring some order back to the organization. I know a lot of people were happy about it. Yeah. When he when he brought him in, I just didn't know. Oh, yeah. We yeah. didn't we didn't know he was gonna try to like force V triangle try. You know you know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. I didn't know that was gonna work out. Yeah, he was trying to coach from the GM spot. That was ultimately the problem. That was dumb as hell. He can't be the coach and the GM. He either or. If, yeah. if, if he was the coach, if he was going to step down and be in the box with us and coaching and saying do the triangle because he's the only one who could really teach it, it's not going to be Derek, Derek Fisher. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then fine. But you can't be teaching the triangle from, from the GM spot while you're sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen, guy's not a perfect guy, but I just think he, he's done a, a, a fair job. The team doesn't win. It, it's it, listen. This basketball. It's a lot of owners that haven't won for their teams and for their seasons. Yeah. You know That's what I mean? Right. Look at the Phoenix owner. They can't wait to get him out of there because he's ready to get greedy and move the team. Um, to to he might move him to Vegas. He might move him to Seattle. Um, yeah. 
you know, the, the, this guy, he, he put the money up for the chase, for the for the, uh, the, ch- the chase licensing and all that. You got to pay for it. Mm-hmm. But listen, man, I think I think they, we could always have worse in terms of ownership, man. And and, and that's my two cents on the Dolan topic, JLs. All right. Depend yeah, on Oakley, man. Bring back Oak. That's, a, that's back the name Oak, of the game. Bring I don't, back I don't Oak, care what you got to do. <laughs> bring back Oak. Make that right. Make if it you right. Bring back Oak, you make that Oak thing right, then I'm good. Yeah. I'm nothing bad to say. Facts, <laughs> facts, facts. Ari Rada, um, yeah, Green Bay. The Green Bay Packers have been grandfathered in. They are publicly owned, JLs. They are publicly owned, and they have a board of directors that basically represents them. Oh, wow. Yeah, so Green Bay Packers are owned by the fans. They are owned by the fans. Yo, that'd be some dope stuff. Don't put it past Bezos to do some some real liberal type thing like that, man. That's I'm true. telling you. Jeff, if Nick you're fans, watching... Opinionated fans ever, that would be crazy. Jeff, if you're watching, let me represent as the GM. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, Jails, let's get out of here, man. Um, yeah. They got to do something, man, because it's getting to the point where it's just getting depressing being a Knicks fan, and I've never listen. felt this way. Go ahead, listen, man, listen, Go ahead, man, Jails. Listen, man. Talk him off the ledge, Jails. Talk him off the ledge. Bro. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. <laughs> This is this. You gotta get me off, JL. The ship, the ship is turning, dog. It's turning. But you know what happened?